Hey everyone, welcome back to Duncan Rumpa V3 Killing Harmony. Oh my god, I feel like every time I bring us I back- I love the deeply defeated tone yes. you have every single time. Wow, it's just, uh, the fifth class trial has been truly a journey. Also, I'm just realizing that Angie's uh, ex is just the wings yeah, of Yeah, you're really just hey, realizing that she's a little angel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I never, never looked. Wow, okay, well, we are, uh, I think, possibly approaching, I don't know, the end of, of the fifth class trial. We spent a long time last time going back and forth on like who the victim is. We determined that Kokichi, or we thought that Kokichi was trying to set up an unsolvable mystery for Monokuma. And it seems like that was still the intent. Like this was still uh, Kokichi planning to stump Monokuma so that Monokuma couldn't figure out the details of the case, didn't know who the victim was, didn't know who the culprit was, and by that point, like, in making an unsolvable case, would defeat Monokuma and beat the killing game. Um, but uh, Maki in front of us, I only advanced to Maki here out from uh, looking at Shuichi last time. Uh, Maki was taking it upon herself to try and stop Kokichi. Uh, she was convinced that Kaito was being held hostage, which he was, and was trying to, uh, stop Kokichi. Everyone thought that Kokichi was the mastermind. Uh, it's been revealed that Kokichi's not the mastermind. He was lying about it. Uh, in, a, in an attempt to trick all of us and to make this case happen. Um, however, in, in our discussions and our back and forth, we have determined that who we thought was on the hydraulic press, whose body was crushed, <laughs> You're, you're going it's so not... all over the place with this. What do you want like... me to? What do you want me to say? Like this fucking case no, I goes know. all over I, the place. I respect the heck out of you trying to summarize it, but like, oh my gosh. I mean, last time we determined Kokichi and Kaito were working together. Yeah, and that's that, the most pertinent bit of info. And that Kaito was not the one actually crushed on the hydraulic press. It was Kokichi. So that's where I was going. That's fair. <laughs> I, it's mostly like you brought Maki in, but then like skipped the part where she committed a, a murder basically, or at least in her mind, uh, committed sure, a murder. Sure, whatever. Yeah. You know, <laughs> just a lot has happened. Point being, um, we have reached the point of this unwinnable case where it looks like we were somewhat mistaken the whole time that, that this isn't necessarily the story of a victim and a culprit. It's more a story of a partnership. Yes. And to what outcome? Well, it looks like we might be getting close to that. We're getting close to that. Uh, we're not there yet. <laughs> because who, oh, who, who are we talking to? Is sort of the, where we left off last time. It was like, who is this? The biggest conclusion we left off on last, last time was that Kaito is the actual culprit. Because if Kaito smushed Kokichi, then Kaito did a murder. Yes. So, ah! <laughs> I don't know what Just else whistling to kettle time. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> over, yeah. overboiled. Yeah. There's like steam coming out of my ears. Yeah. Like, I'm just, I'm careening off the tracks like a, like a, like a fucking train. And like uh, like some sort of like I don't know. I watched Thomas the Tank Engine as a kid and there was some like really odd fucked up moments in that. And I feel like I'm like one of those trains that's like D -d 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 -d. like it's going so fast you can't okay. slow down and it's like <laughs> Sure. With the little face on Just it that's like, like Thomas uh, the Tank Engine, absolutely. <laughs> I don't know why my mind went there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a little train with a face on it that can't stop. Screaming. Yes. <laughs> yeah. At all times. That's what I want you to visualize right Beautiful. now. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, do you want to hear about how they work together? I would love to. <laughs> so, the person inside that exosol isn't Kokichi. Oh my god. It has to be Kaito. What did you say? It's just Exosol now. Mm -hmm. So the culprit for this case is Kaito Momota. That is what the ultimate detective has deduced, right? I mean, I have a I have another question here. If if Monokuma doesn't know or didn't know who the culprit and the victim were, did that really matter? Because 
Monokuma can just like fucking make up the rules and change things and make determinations sort of whenever, right? No, not really. Um, every time, every time Monokuma's done that, it's been in an extreme circumstance and has been called on it. Interesting. Because... Okay. 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 At okay. least this. Okay. Going off of the rule set of the first two games. Uh huh. No. It okay. does, like or or yes, it matters because Monokuma is bound by his own rules. That's true. And okay. Junko is bound by her own rules. That's very That's true. That's why she ended up uh, dying. Dying. Yeah. So, you know, assuming that this Monokuma is bound by the same rule set, yeah, it okay. matters. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure. Kaito is the culprit. What? You're joking, right? You can't be serious. I don't want to believe it either, but it's the only way any of this makes sense. My detective work has led me to the conclusion that Kaito is the culprit. What is this Exosol? Is that true? Is Kaito really in there? I'm the culprit. Uh, okay, this is what I was also saying last time, that is, if Kaito was poisoned and he's really dead, then was it Maki? Also, this is wild that Maki just came out and said this. Well, because if Kaito's the culprit, then Kaito's about to die. Kaito's going to die because he's been poisoned. No, right? because Kaito's the blackened. Oh, well, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, Maki. Maki! <laughs> Maki! Uh, no, it's hard to prove that she's not. That's true. She's down bad. <laughs> yeah. I'm oh. kidding. <laughs> You're going to take down humanity? There's just no way that Kaito can still be alive. But she also might be a Kaito wouldn't kill, therefore I must be the culprit. Or There's that. It, it, it's just, this is messy. I think she's probably going through a lot right now. Yeah, yeah. I definitely think so. I, in my opinion, we'll see where she goes, but I feel like she's like, we might be going towards the I 100% poisoned him, he should be dead, or he's going to die. That's also possible. Because I'm the culprit. Or, I, 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 Maki. Wait, you? But didn't you say- I saw it with my own eyes. Kokichi drank the antidote that he stole from Kaito. Okay, yeah, yeah okay. There's no doubt Kaito died. And he died because of my poison arrow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said, I did kind of joke about that last time. Like, what if it all still comes back to they're both dead, and and, and Kaito's Maki's the culprit. And Maki's the culprit, and he and like Kaito is dead because of Maki still. Yeah, because he knew that he was going to die. I don't. I, I guess we'll see. Well, you told us you didn't want to kill Kaito. Yes, I never wanted to. I wanted to believe that I didn't kill him. But. The truth speaks differently. In the end, I was just running away from the facts. Huh? I don't understand. Unless she is trying to save Kaito. Unless she's trying to save Kaito. Maki, are you trying to protect Kaito? Yeah. If he's the culprit, you're trying to help him get away? There was only one antidote, so it's more likely he died from my poison arrow. This is the truth. It's not decided yet. I could have still killed him with the hydraulic press. Either way, those are the two options. Monokuma knows the answer, right? Huh? Are those the only options? I guess that's how things turned out. No, that can't be. The person in that exosol is... It's not Kaito. I saw Kokichi drink the antidote. There's no mistake. Kaito is dead. I... killed Kaito. There is absolutely no doubt. That's... the truth. Oh, I thought so. Maki is trying to protect Kaito. I understand how she feels. But if Kaito is the culprit, why did she agree? Why did he agree to Kokichi's plan? 
I can't imagine that Kaito would do something so selfish. There must be a reason for it. I truly believe that. But I have to get to the bottom of this before I can uncover that truth. But Maki, you don't know for certain that Kokichi drank the antidote. Mm. What? You saw him drink it right in front of you, but you couldn't confirm he actually did it. So maybe there's another possibility. What are you talking about? Impossible. That's impossible. There is no other possibility. I killed Kaito. Oh, I have to fight her. There you go. <laughs> I killed Kaito. Okay. Oh, this is a hold. Oh, Jesus. You're the one who's wrong. Who even fucking knows? <laughs> my poison era. How do I make it go fast again? <laughs> There's no other possibility. <laughs> Can just I time it? Just hit the time. I can't. Let me put both of my headphones in. I think that helped last time. Hold on. Okay. Ugh. God. I hate this one so much. I know. I we just, just have to get through it. I just don't like it. Okay. Sorry. I'm gonna like not talk. <laughs> That's fine. We're gonna sit here in silence. What do you know? Here you go. Done, 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 done. Kaito. Dun, dun. You're the one who's wrong. Ugh. He died from my poison arrow. Sorry, I suddenly realized that, that would make editing really There's annoying. There's no other possibility. <laughs> what do you know? Nice. Ah! No! 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 I panicked. <laughs> you were you were doing it. You were doing it. Yeah. Got that one, okay. Sure. Why not? That's how it works. What you say. Da, da, da. I'm telling Fucking you hold. this is the truth. But you keep getting in the way. You're so yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. Oh, is this I gotta do this? Yes. Okay, yeah, sure. You say? I'm telling you ah! this is the truth. But you keep getting in the way. I think this has actually been the most coherent way <laughs> the holds have worked. I think so. Yeah. I was at the scene. Oh boy. I know I'm not wrong. No, no, no. Quiet till now. I wanted ah! to leave yeah. and kill him. Ah! <laughs> no, yep, 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 yep. We gotta make it go fast. At the scene. I feel like it goes ah, fast. That's not the issue wrong. there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Awesome, you you got it. Oh, I'm so proud! Thanks! Oh no! <laughs> oh god! Nice! Girl, stop talking, please! Ah, it's an A! <laughs> Your health bar is almost closed. Nice! Nice! Ah. Yes! Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, you're so close! <laughs> nice! Oh, what's the final blow? I don't even know. Uh, 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 pretend to, to drink, drink the, the antidote. antidote. It <sighs> You've done it. <sighs> Break. I've taken both of my headphones out of my ears. He just pretended to drink the antidote. He didn't actually drink it. I will say it took me all the way until chapter five to finally figure out how the hold and release works I, I, at the timing. I know, and I've been on this journey with you, and you did it. You you figured it out before the game ended. That's Thank I'm so proud. God. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You also, did it. Legitimately, having both headphones in actually helps. Yeah, because yeah. it's a rhythm game. Because it's a fucking rhythm yeah. game, and I wasn't. I was only hearing one side That's of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. What do you mean, Cop Kid? You fucking pretended to drink the antidote. The cop was on in the in the oh. cutscene. The cop was on. He did. He just went. He blunk, 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 blunk. <laughs> <laughs> Yoink. Yeah. Oh, so then, so then, so then he gave it to Kaito, and then they did the swap because, like, oh my god. He pretended to drink it. Oh my god. Sorry, Maki. Kaito's the black end. Kaito's the black end. He agreed to do it. Drinking the antidote was part of his lie. I thought we were gonna I thought we were gonna de-armor an exosol. It would have been fun. But I mean doing it up against Maki makes total yeah. sense. Yeah. 
Maki could only see so much through the window. She didn't confirm Kokichi drank it. So, okay, and then truly the reason why we took off Kaito, no, Kokichi's clothes was so that Kokichi could put Kaito's shirt on, right? Like, mm -hmm. that is kind of, that is basically what happened there, It seems yeah? like it. Okay. I believe that Kokichi knew this and just pretended to drink the antidote. Or uh, Kokichi might have a white shirt underneath his jacket. I don't know. That's true. That's unclear. Yeah, okay. After Maki left, he gave the antidote to Kaito. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. There's a strong possibility that all of this was done to make Kaito cooperate. Wow. Make him cooperate? Make him cooperate? Fascinating. The swapping trick required the victim and culprit to work together. Kaito's cooperation was essential to Kokichi's plan. Is that maybe why he was holding him hostage as well? So that he would cooperate with his plan at some point? Like, I mean, again, it's unclear whether this was the long-term plan or just what they came up with after they got shot. I guess that's fair. That's yeah. that's what we don't know. Like, yeah. and, and there's not much to go on there because well, all of this kicked off after they got shot. That's true, yeah. However, I don't think Kokichi would be able to sway Kaito easily. He needed leverage. He gave Kaito the antidote in exchange for his cooperation. In exchange for his own life, you mean? Kaito had no choice. He had to cooperate after Kokichi saved his life. That's just Kaito's character. And Kokichi knew that. He swallowed his pride with the antidote and agreed to participate in Kokichi's plan. But didn't Kokichi make this plan? What good is it for him if he's dead? I imagine this was all part of Kokichi's plan to confuse us. You wouldn't think that someone would plan their own murder. <laughs> it's been done before. <laughs> it, it is amazing how much this case is a synergy of the first two ca uh, case fives. It really it's is. It's really, it's like yeah. remarkable how much it is. Wow. He went so far as to give up his life just to create this mystery. And I guess in his mind, that's winning. If it's like, well, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Depends on the outcome. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, he, like maybe he was just so confident in the outcome. He's like, there's there's no way out of this. I don't know. Only Kokichi could think of something so nefarious. Who else would agree to die just to execute their plan? Why would he go that far? I bet Kokichi was determined to beat me at my own game, no matter what! Hmm. But too bad! Shuichi figured out the truth! Truth? Are you sure it's not delusion? Delusion? A delusion completely off the mark. To make you think that I died. But who cares what you guys think? This is between me and Monokuma. I don't give a crap if the extras in this game get it right or not. <laughs> extras. Extras? I'm got. Huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Why? <laughs> if we're just extras, then even if we get it wrong, we won't get killed. No, I'd still kill you all. Don't put Kokichi's words in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd still kill you all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd still kill you I'd all. I'd still kill you all. <laughs> If Monokuma gets it right, then he takes everyone's lives, yeah? But if Monokuma gets it wrong, then he'd have no right to take everyone's lives. Interesting. If Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is, then this killing game can't function anymore. Exactly. It's in Monokuma's best interest to, like, solve this, right? Because then... Yeah, like, like exactly like what Kuhichi said. Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is. And then this whole thing is invalid. Yeah, then it's all invalid. Yep. Can't function anymore. Kaito, I believe in you. 
If you're cooperating with this plan, you must have a reason. To determine that reason, I need to reveal the truth. I still think Kaito is the culprit. Thinking of it that way makes all the pieces fit. I will show you the truth. The truth you can't deny. Comic time! Comic time! Closing, Closing argument. argument! Start! Oh boy. Okay, so we have... <laughs> The first one. I love wearing the coat. Sorry. <laughs> oh, wait, that's good. That's very good. Uh, hit the Exosol, Electro Bomb, Trail of Blood. And then we have. Only Antidote. The only Antidote. Okay. Okay. So it's probably. Let's see. Hit the Exosol. Yeah, that goes there. Here. Um, oh, the art in this one is cool. I'm excited for it to play through. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, Electro Bomb. Um. Trail of blood. That's lit. We if we'd get to antidote first. I could do the only antidote. Mm -hmm. Um let's do that. There we go. And he faked the only antidote. And then Trail uh, of Blood is later. Trail of Blood is way later. Yeah. It's like it's like down here. No, uh, it's we've already passed it. It's um one of these. It's one of yeah, these, it's one right? of these. Uh, why was Kikichi dragging on the ground? What evidence? To, uh, leave the bathroom. Okay, that's trail blood. No, no, I think it's the other Is one. Is it this one? Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh my god, I got one heart left. <laughs> Let's be careful. Let's be careful. Okay, uh, and then we need to use, um, Electro Bomb. Um, I think that was... That's down here. Yeah, let's just right? look on the, the, the hints. Oh, we're yeah, later. yeah. We're later than this. Um, no, I'm at, this is the very end. I know. We're, I mean, we're earlier, like... Okay. Um, who was put in the Hildra the press first? What evidence did the culprit leave the bathroom? Who actually drank the antidote? Oh, what I thought that was... Oh, when would we, when was that? Who was hit with the... What opened the shutter and got inside the hangar? No, that's, that's the Exosol. Where did the culprit shoot Kokichi? What the fuck? After see, uh, it's it's one of those in the last couple of, of slides. Yeah, this is who was put in the electro electro press last. What evidence to call it flushed down the toilet. Um, no, no. Uh, I'm a little confused about this one. Um, uh, uh did un other any others unlock or do we have to? No, use No, we one? have to use it. Um. Oh wait, an exosol in the hangar. Inside the hangar. That's yeah. That's over here. That's over here. That was what. Uh, um. No. Where the culprit shoot? What opened the shutter and got inside? That was the next. Yeah. Assault. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. okay. Um. Did that give us anything else? No. I think we still have to use. No. Electro we still have to use electro bomb. Okay. Oh, uh, what the fuck? What was hit by the first arrow? Uh. No. Second arrow. I don't know where the fuck. <laughs> Who actually drank the antidote? I mean, maybe this? No. Uh, maybe it's like earlier. I don't think so. I don't think. This is a weird one. No, that's not right. I'm a, I'm a little confused. Who was hit by the second arrow? That's no. Kaito. Yeah. What weapon did Kokichi take out? Oh. 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 It's this one. Okay. okay. All yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, um, we've unlocked a few. Did we? Yep. Okay, there we go. And then another one. And then this one. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so we have the culprit in the press. Okay, so that's the, the first. That's who's the, the first, first person in the press. So yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, who was putting the hydraulic press yep. first? The culprit. Yep. Uh, and then we have assembled the crossbow. That's early. Yeah. Kokichi in the press. That's second. That's second. Or, yeah, this one. Uh, who was put in the hydraulic press? Kokichi. In the press. Okay. Um, and then assemble the crossbow and drink the antidote. Okay, that's... This is who actually drank the antidote. Yep. Kaito. Okay. Um, this is crossbow. so interesting. Yeah. I can't wait to look at the art. Um, this was way here. back here. Yep. Assembling the crossbow, which was Kaito. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have all the rest of them. Okay. 
Um, Kokichi's right arm. Culprit's left arm. Kokichi's back. Uh... Flows flushed, and then three arrows. Okay. okay, I know this one's at the very end. Yeah. So I'm gonna run to that. That real quick. Um, right arm and the culprit's left three arm. Three arrows, I think, is this one, but we don't have to do that yet. Oh, wait. Uh, it's this one? Yeah. What well, evidence did the culprit leave in the bathroom? The three arrows? Yep. You're totally right. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and then when everybody got shot. Yep. Uh, who was hit by the first arrow Maki That's fired? That's Kokichi, that Kokichi in the back. Kokichi in the back. Or was it his arm? I thought it was his back because he already had one in his arm. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yep. Um, this was the poison exactly. arrow. And then That's this Kaito's arm. is Kaito's left arm. Yep. Who was hit by the second arrow. And then the final one is earlier. Yep. It's here. Yep. Uh, oh, I just clicked off of it. Okay. Yep. By the skin of our teeth, we made it through that trial. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, let's see how this plays out. All right, I'm so interested. Let's go over the trick that Kokichi and the culprit created together. Last night, Kibo saw Himiko from the window of his lab. She was carrying a black case and heading to the Exocil hangar. When she reached the hangar, she handed the case to someone through the bathroom window. That someone is the culprit of this case. Locked in the bathroom, the culprit had asked Himiko to bring them a certain weapon. A disassembled crossbow from Maki's lab. The culprit was going to use the crossbow to challenge Kokichi to a fight. Some time passed and Maki made her way to the hangar. She was going to the hangar to kill Kokichi and save the culprit trapped in the bathroom. However, the hangar had an electric barrier preventing her from entering. Fortunately for her, she had an electro hammer to get around the barrier, in a way. Mm-hmm. She used her <laughs> electro hammer to disable an exosol and climbed inside. The art is so good. It's really good. I'm really enjoying it for this. Oh yes, it's great for all of she the comics. She knew exosols that. could bypass the barrier, so she got inside one. Agreed. This mm -hmm. game, the the art for the comics has been really, really good. Mm -hmm. It's so solid. Around that time, the culprit and Kokichi began their confrontation. While Kokichi was checking up on them, the culprit ambushed him with a crossbow. But the culprit didn't intend to kill Kokichi. They just wanted to disable him. Hmm. That's yeah. why the culprit aimed for Kokichi's right arm. Exactly. Not trying to kill him with the with that shot. Exactly. Yep. If they really wanted to kill him, they would have shot him in his vitals. Kokichi reeled from the arrow, and the culprit jumped on him immediately. He didn't want Kokichi to have the chance to summon an Exosol with a remote. While they were fighting, something happened that caught them both off guard. I guess they were both legit fighting. Yeah, it looks like yeah. they were really fighting. Yeah, okay. At least based on our interpretation, but mm -hmm. yeah, this definitely looks like they were... tussling. Yep. <laughs> The shutter of the hangar opened, and an exosol stepped inside. Kokichi was definitely not expecting an exosol to interrupt them. He hmm. pulled out his remote in an attempt to control the exosol. But Maki leaped out of the cockpit and shot Kokichi with her crossbow. Oof. The arrow hit Kokichi right in the back, and it was no normal arrow. The tip was covered in a lethal poison from my lab called Strike 9 Poison. The poison kills slowly. It seems as if Maki wanted Kokichi to confess before he died. 
But even with poison in his veins, Kokichi continued to spin his lies. When she had had enough, Maki tried to finish him off with another poisoned arrow. But this time, Maki was the one caught by surprise. To keep Maki from becoming the Blackened, the culprit used their body to shield Kokichi. But he didn't know that they were like poisoned arrows. You think? He uh, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, because he, he may have because that might be why he would he felt the need to block it. I guess that's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The culprit's left arm was struck by a poison arrow. But maybe not. Maybe he just thought that she was going to aim somewhere more lethal mm -hmm. this time. Maki remembered that there was an antidote in my lab and immediately ran off to get it. The Strike 9 poison slowly circulated through their systems and would soon kill them both. But in that desperate situation, Kokichi thought up a clever lie. He incorporated this unforeseen event into his plan to help him win the killing game. Yeah, I guess he was like, all right, well, this is advantageous, so mm -hmm. I will... Actually, yeah, this, this seems like a like a funky, fun situation. Let's yeah. play this out. This might make it even better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or should I say, help him defeat Monokuma. Yeah, we don't know what his original plan was, but mm -mm. this seems to have played out slightly differently. <laughs> yeah. That was Kokichi's true objective. It's why he claimed to be the mastermind. Thinking fast, Kokichi closed the shutter so that Maki could not re-enter the hangar. Thus, Kokichi's final lie was set into motion. When Maki returned with the antidote, she couldn't get back inside the hangar. So she went around to the hangar bathroom and passed the antidote through the window. Ooh. But after the culprit was given the antidote, Kokichi immediately snatched it. Kokichi drank down all of the antidote while the culprit and Maki watched in horror. <laughs> Surprise! No, he didn't. Maki must have been panicking, thinking the only antidote was now gone. She believed that the culprit was going to die from her own poisoned arrow. But it was all another one of Kokichi's lies. He had only pretended to drink the antidote. I can't believe that. <laughs> He literally held it up to his lips and just went glug, 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 glug. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what now? <laughs> wow. Maki tried desperately to break into the hangar, even slashing the control panel. But she couldn't get the shutter to open again. Defeated, she had no choice but to leave. After Maki had left, Kokichi took out another weapon. An electrobomb capable of disabling communication devices for hours. Kokichi's plan was to use an electrobomb to knock out Monokuma's surveillance cameras. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That was okay. why he commissioned Mew to make the bombs in the first place. That's I think this comic playing. might be a teeny tiny bit out of order, but that's fine. Yeah. I don't, because the electrobomb had to have gone off before Maki slashed the communications panel. I mean, the, the panel. Because the alarm was down. Yeah, I think this may just be a, a scripting error because that doesn't show her attacking the, the thing. But whatever, it doesn't matter. The and bomb, they, they went off close to one another. I was going to say, it might be that these are kind of happening simultaneously. Exactly. Yeah, like as soon as she runs off, he's actually triggering the bomb. So by the, t by the time she gets back over to try and open up the, yeah. the hangar door. I think the, the, the phrasing is a little odd, but they happened really close to one another. So yeah. it's fine. Yep. After detonating an electrobomb, Kokichi coerced the culprit into drinking the antidote. In exchange for the antidote, Kokichi asked the culprit to cooperate with his plan. Kokichi needed to work with the culprit to execute his final lie. Under normal circumstances, the culprit would never have agreed to such a plan. 
but because the culprit owed him for saving their life, they agreed to Kokichi's request. And I guess by that point, too, it would mean that it would also prevent it Maki, would save Maki. From yeah. being the black end. Yeah. Ah, request is a generous term. It was more like blackmail. In There's any a case, sorry, the sorry, two so are sorry. now working together as accomplices in an insane plan. I was just about to say, there's a few things that Shuichi has said during this explanation that, that I think are a little bit off, mm -hmm. but are close enough to where it, it works. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I think that Shuichi is still trying to paint... Kokichi, Kokichi is like evil. As this evil villain. Yeah. Like he's not sort of looking past that to realize that in trying to defeat Monokuma, he's trying to stop the killing game. Mm -hmm. And weirdly save everybody? Kind of. And like weirdly sacrifice himself? Mm -hmm. You know? Like I mean, you could look at it as it's it's it can be read equally two different ways, selflessly yes. and incredibly selfishly, and probably was a little bit of both. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I think that is such a great summary of Kokichi's character mm -hmm. as well. And the fact that you're kind of left here going, well, I don't know. Could be either. Yeah. Um, <laughs> whew. Wow. Well, and it also, we'll never really know mm -hmm. because Kokichi can't speak for himself anymore. Nope. Yeah. Nope. There was a lot to prepare and not a lot of time. They had to work fast. If Kokichi died from the Strike Nine poison, the whole plan would be ruined. Right, he has to be crushed. Mm -hmm. Yep. After fabricating the scene in the bathroom, the culprit dragged Kokichi to the hydraulic press. Oof. This is how the swipe pattern bloodstain from the bathroom to the press was created. For what it's worth, though, this is still an unsolvable problem. Uh, because yeah. despite this entire setup, despite absolute, well, it, 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 there's a really teeny tiny window where if Kokichi lived long enough to stop the press and stop the recording, but died before being swapped in, technically we can never know. That's Everything good... up to that point. We know he was alive for absolutely everything up to that point, but if... He died between the pause button and the play button and the record button. Technically, it's unsolvable. That is very true because, like, regardless, the press would have would have crushed him. Yeah. So he could have been the poison. He could have died by the poison. It's right still before. it's still technically possible. This is one of those where it's like we don't we don't truly have a solve for this, which is which is part of the point. Yes. This is uh, Shuichi being like, this is what I believe happened. Yeah. And he even said as much. He's like, this is, this. I think Kaito did it, and this is what I think happened. Mm -hmm. um, this is probably the closest we're gonna get. Exactly, but, but it is technically possible that it happened the other way. You're totally right. Yep. Yep. Kokichi, with the support of the culprit, stood in front of the press's control panel the two of them were finally ready to execute the insane lie. While Kokichi was setting up the video camera near the hydraulic press's control panel, the culprit laid face up inside the press, draping their coat over their shoulders. Then, Kokichi activated the press and the camera's record button at the same time. Oh, also like a lot of trust there too. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. Especially because Kokichi could simply die up there at any moment. Yep. The hydraulic press came down slowly, all caught on tape for us to see. Normally, the safety function would have triggered, but the electro bomb had disabled it. Uh, sorry, I'm I'm doing a little uh wobbly hand motion because um we've already shown with Kibo that you can roll out. Yeah. If, if, if it looks like it's not stopping, you can roll out. That's so true. technically, Kaito could have jumped out the last yeah. second. Yeah. We'd, I, I don't think he did, but no. he could have. That's that's totally fair. Yeah. yeah. The press got lower and lower, and just as the culprit disappeared from view, Kokichi pressed the force stop button and the camera's pause button simultaneously. 
This is wild. The two then switched places and also switched roles. The culprit and the victim. <laughs> Shuichi's like, I imagine him the shirtless. <laughs> and started up the press and camera. We know factually he was wearing a shirt, but Shuichi's like, this is how I picture it going down. Well, he would have taken his shirt off already. But the but in the in, oh. the, in the edit, there was a, a cuff on. I don't, yeah. Oh, oh, you're right. Yeah. In the edit, he would have been wearing a shirt. Yeah. He should have taken Kaito's shirt. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> or or, or had a shirt under his jacket. Line. Because his trick required their cooperation. You're right. Or had it, or had it a shirt on. This is incredibly minor. I just <laughs> <think>. <laughs> it's just funny to think about this. You're just like he was shirtless. He was shirtless, <laughs> and also he was shirtless. <laughs> I was like, to me, he's like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> wait, can I see the tape again? <laughs> The man is dying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I, I should I, not be laughing. I, I'm the one the voice. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, rough. Oh, that was cool. Yikes. Yikes. He wanted to win the killing game, even if it meant dying himself. Wild. Wild. That's such a cool inverse of of uh nagito yeah right like that's so cool i know i really love it <laughs> that's so cool may he rest in peace mm -hmm. <laughs> and so kokichi was crushed by the press and the whole thing was caught on video well not really but you know <laughs> I, unless he's the, probably the, the dead now <laughs> was i mean oh well yeah yeah yeah. i thought you meant nagito <laughs> oh no uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry sorry we were talking about two different things you were responding to my may he rest in peace i was re i thought you were responding to what they were saying oh. on there you're right <laughs> kokichi may he rest in peace nagito yes. was probably fine yeah <laughs> he, was, he was fine he's, he's okay <laughs> well <laughs> technically not anymore the earth has been destroyed you know what you're right <laughs> on a long enough time frame <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, okay, I got we gotta lock it in. Yeah, we gotta lock it in. We gotta lock it in. <laughs> now alone, the culprit collected the video camera and tore the hydraulic press's power cord so that it could never be raised again. This would make it impossible for us to determine the identity of the crushed body. I get so did Kokichi tell him to do that too? Probably. Say, Unplug it. Don't let it. But there was another yeah. reason the victim was killed in this way. It obfuscated the cause of death, making the case that much more difficult to solve. This was all part of Kokichi's plan to create a murder not even Monokuma could figure out. So wild. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. With the press disabled, the culprit returned to the bathroom to flush Kokichi's clothes. Finally, they climbed inside of an exosaw to hide and waited with bated breath. This exosaw? And here they are now in this trial, pretending to be Kokichi. I mean, maybe that, I guess that's why Kokichi sounded weird is because it's Kaito trying to be Kokichi. Kaito's yeah. the best <laughs> mimic of <Yeah>. Kokichi. <laughs> Impersonation of Kokichi? What? They're trying got, to deceive Monokuma in order to defeat the true mastermind. He got the knee he he's right. Yeah. He got the big man magnanimous statements right. It was the little shit that he couldn't do. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I dug my own grave again. I know. <laughs> Mrs. Krabby Pants. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking good try. <laughs> you really get me, Monokuma. Oh my God. Like, <laughs> Jeez. And that's it. That's Kokichi's unidentified Not culprit trick. Megaloma megalomaniacal. That's yeah. the word I was going for, sorry. That's fair. Kaito, you did it. The culprit is Whoa. in that exosol. It's you, isn't it? Kaito Momota, the ultimate astronaut. Wild. Wild shit. Absolutely buck wild. 
wild. Please come out of the exit stall now. I'm right, aren't I? That's you in there, isn't it, Kaito? Really? Is it really, Kaito? I must reluctantly agree with Shuichi's deduction. Uh, man! Shuichi sure loves his crazy deductions! Huh? You're still not gonna admit it? Admit it? But it's wrong. But logically speaking, his deduction tracks. If it's really Kaito in there, he would have admitted it by now. Was Shuichi's reasoning wrong somehow? No. My detective my detective work was flawless, save for a shirt or two. <laughs> it's the truth. Yes. <sighs> <laughs> so, but, I mean, I guess that could still be Kaito acting it out. It's odd that he hasn't stopped, also. But... but I don't know. I don't know. Is it is it bad if I say something still doesn't feel right? Can I say that? Yeah. Something still doesn't feel right. But I think Kaito did it. I just. Hmm. I'm sure that Kaito is inside that Exosol. Maybe. I guess. Yeah. So why is Kaito still fighting me? Is this about Monokuma? Or is there another aspect to this? You claim everything is set, and that's it. You don't have any evidence, do you? I guess we still have to vote. Mm-hmm. Oh, stop showing- don't show this video again! You all think the body was switched when the hydraulic press stopped for a moment. But that's just speculation in the end. No evidence to back it up. So, if we reverse our reverse way of thinking... Oh my god. ...then it's likely I didn't do anything, right? It's totally possible that the body switching never happened and Kaito is dead. I can't believe we're still having this conversation after we just did the comic book! Yep, that is interesting. What's happening?! We've, we're back off the rails again. Yep. <laughs> oh my god! Not just possible. It's the actual truth. Well, it's true. There's no proof that the bodies were switched. I guess it's to your point that it's still unsolvable. You know? Mm hmm No, we should trust Shuichi's deduction. I'm sure everything will be okay. Are we sure? This emotion I've learned, I believe you call it faith. That's what I feel right now. That's right. We have to believe in Shuichi. Well, I don't care either way. But if you guys get it wrong, you'll have to deal with Monokuma. <laughs> what will the results of this voting time be? If Monokuma makes a mistake, he won't be able to execute anyone, right? Then it will be my victory, and that will ruin the entire killing game. Ruin? I see. So that's your objective. Are, are, have you have you gone back to where I what I was saying? Have you taken that step back and realized that it's I don't know. It just uh... you mean to ruin the killing game itself? Exactly. Exactly. That's why Kaito has been so stubborn all this time. I guess if it's still Kaito, yeah. But what does that mean? What does he mean by ruin exactly? Monokuma can do whatever he wants to, uh, uh, wants to the rules. How do you ruin something like that? This was what you were saying. That's what earlier. I was saying. Does it really matter? Yeah. What po would be the point? And it seems that it does matter. Certainly, Kaito and Kokichi seem to think that it matters. Uh huh. Uh huh. Come on, Monokuma. Start the voting already. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to it. Sheesh. Let's proceed with voting time, shall we? Sorry I fell short of your expectations, but I'm pretty sure I won't make any mistakes. 
Because I got the ultimate detective's airtight logic on my side. Stop calling us out. Stop well, it. We did help him here. If we're right. Yeah, that's true. If we are right, we are continuing the killing game. You know, we're we're solving the problem. Ugh. Oh man, are, are we the bad guy here? <laughs> Oopsie. Yeah, Shuichi. Now I know the whole truth and why. I believe in my own logic. And I believe in Kaito. From this point on, it's not about logic. It's about how far I'm willing to go. I believe in you, Kaito. Not as a detective, but as Shuichi Saihara. Uh, can I just say something? I'd like to have one last conversation before we vote. Oh my god! <gasps> Gina, what's happening? <laughs> I mean... We, we're off the rails. <laughs> we're so off the rails. We did a comic book already. Yeah, <gasps> we did. Oh, my God. Hmm? One last conversation. The Kaito did ask us to reach for the truth behind truth. We're, Shuichi's going to lie. Maybe. Shuichi's going to lie because he's going to he's going to try and break the killing game with them. Like, he understands that Kokichi and Kaito are trying to break the killing game, and if he convicts a Blackened, then all we have done is solve Monokuma's problem, like you said. This is crazy! Oh my god! More to talk about? Yeah! I, I was like, I was like, wow, there sure is, but yeah. You see, before we vote, there's something I have to say. <laughs> what what are you going to do? I just need you all to listen. And it's the lying track, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh my god, oh my Here god, oh my we god. Go. Also... <laughs> <laughs> okay, we gotta lie, we gotta lie. Kokichi's close, Kokichi's disappearance. Right, Murder video. this down. Kokichi's disappearance. Who was inside that exosaw? Kaito's coat? Mm -hmm. Kaito, right? <laughs> That's what you said, isn't it? Wait, wait, this is so interesting because Kokichi's in the- no, Shuichi's in the debate! Yeah. Normally he's not! Yep. He just hangs back and he calls shit out! He just kind of chills out. and listens. What is this? Y'all, this is- We're- we're part of this now. Wow! Kaito's coat- Kokichi's the one who died! Kokichi's and the culprit coat. is Kaito standing right there! Isn't that correct? Hold on, I want to check- Kokichi's disappearance. No one had seen Kokichi during the entire investigation or up until the start of the class trial. That might be the lie. Yeah, because we I, haven't used that yet, yes, I think. I think that's going to be the, hey, everyone, where's Kokichi been the whole time? Yeah. Kaito's actually try dead. to lie with it? Yes. Okay. I think that's where he's going to go with this. Because, yeah. Because we're trying, because Kaito slash Kokichi slash, you know, the XL person is like, come on, Shuichi. I need you to I need you to cooperate with this yeah. here. Because that's what's really happening. Uh so what we need to do then is say, actually the we bodies saw Kokichi or something. Yeah. Or like the bodies were never swapped. Like it, it really was Kaito that got pressed. So if we say Kokichi has been disappeared the whole time, that means he's been in like the Exosol. So I think that could be an argument, you know? That's possible. I don't know. Uh, Again, I don't think we've used it, so <laughs> of course not. I would never die! I trust Shuichi! Okay, 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 okay. Kaito is trying to ruin the game. That's why he's hiding the truth. I don't know why exactly, but he's putting his life on the line for it. So to put my faith in him, this is the only way. Okay, okay, okay. Everything that we've determined up to now what if I turned it all on its head? Uh huh. Uh huh. So there's only one thing we can we can shoot. It's the yellow Kokichi's the one that died. Right. So we try that with lie on I'm gonna, Kokichi's disappearance. Yes, I'm gonna try that. Yeah, they're telling us. Yes, I need to lie. I need to lie. All right, let's pin this down. Pin what? Who is inside that exosol? Hmm. Kaito, right? That's what you said, isn't it? Kokichi's the one who died. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's Perjury. go. <laughs> Perjury. <laughs> ah. Kikichi, I'm sorry. I just can't lie for you anymore. Bold swing. Bold, bold swing. Bold swing. And it's about using lies to reach the truth. Uh -huh, oh my uh -huh, god. Uh -huh. Let's go. Oh shit. <laughs> what? What do you mean lie? Why did you say Kokichi? The one in the Exosol is I've known all along. I'm so sorry, everyone. I've deceived you all. Huh? <laughs> the truth is, after we found the crushed body, I saw Kokichi. <laughs> you saw Kokichi? <laughs> yes. He threatened me, told me that if I didn't do what he said, he'd kill us all. He wanted me to lie about what I saw, so that the trial would be more interesting. But I can't do it anymore. I can't keep lying like this. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> he's not a great liar, but uh -uh. he's going for it. <laughs> he's trying. <laughs> he's trying. I have to tell the truth. Kokichi isn't dead. He's alive. Oh, hold on. Why did you wait until now to mention this? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Kibo, but it's true. <laughs> really? I'm really, I really am sorry. This is the only way. We gotta break the game! We're breaking the game! Kaito is trying to fool Monokuma, trying to ruin the class trial. If Kaito is risking his life to do this, then I'll stand by him. I believe in Kaito. I will believe in what he's trying to do. He's not doing this to hurt us. I'm sure he's trying to save us all. Mm. If Monokuma wants to rely on my detective work, fine. I'll just lie. Everyone, please, don't vote for Kaito. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi is in that Exosol. He's the culprit. <laughs> hey, Shuichi, I don't know what you're scheming. But as far as I'm concerned, you guys aren't extras at all. If you guys are wrong, you're gonna have to take your punishments like champs. Got it? This is tricky. This is tricky. This is a very bold gambit here. Yeah, this is really tricky because we could still just all die. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yep. I'm not wrong. We're basically just... We're... Uh, to Monokuma, it should, it should trick Monokuma, but... Or, like, you know, prove to Monokuma that everything is faulty. But at the same time, we are letting the blackened go. Yep. And also risking ourselves. Yes. All of us. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like <laughs> that's the big one. <laughs> yeah. Like every and then and then and then Kaito wins. Yeah. Congrats, buddy. Wow. <laughs> and then he succumbs to his illness. Yep. In the next few days, <laughs> thus ends the tale of humanity. Because it was like, beautiful. Wow. Oh my God. We can't vote for Kaito. Stop it! That's enough! Bruh. <laughs> okay. Huh? It's over. Hey! Hey, bud. If you guys get it wrong and Monokuma gets it right... I guess he's like, it's too risky. Yeah. It's too risky. We made too compelling a point earlier. <sighs> it, it just, it kind of renders it not... Yeah. yeah. It's too, it's too risky! But we also did sort of simultaneously prove we proved it's flawed. We we, pro we proved it's it's it is breakable. Yep, we did break it. Yeah, but it's too risky to do what Shuichi was just trying to do. Yep. Yeah. Then you'll all get punished. Yeah. There's no way I can let that happen. This is wild as fuck. Yeah, I also like that he got a second pair of clothes somewhere. <laughs> Good for you, buddy. <laughs> That's great. So. 
It's fine. Let's end this. Okay. All right. Hey, bud. Welcome back. K Kaito! Yeah. So, it really was you? My bad for tricking you guys. I'll explain everything. But before that, it's voting time. All right, don't get it wrong. I'm definitely the culprit. You got it? So many people have been like, I'm the culprit! <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm very curious to see what the vote is going to be here. I'm the one who killed Kokichi. I mean, he is alive. He so, is alive. you know, it, it, that takes a lot of the mystery out of this. It really does. Yeah, that's yeah. the whole point of the Exosol. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. It's just like you to figure it all out, Shuichi. You're really something else. <laughs> You're too good of a detective. Yeah, you kind of fucked with us. <laughs> So all you gotta do is believe in your reasoning. That's what detectives do. Oh, oh man. Because now we gotta kill Kaito. Yeah, this is adding to our detective trauma. God. <laughs> hey, Monokuma, let's hurry up and get this vote started. <laughs> well said. Let's get this started then. Monokuma's like, Whoo! Jesus! Okay! <laughs> All right! <laughs> I'm gonna have to tighten it up! Yeah, boy! <laughs> oh, oh, I'm gonna find by the seat of my pants this whole time! Penny! <laughs> Penny with <laughs> Penny, I on the cat. This is this is a mess. It's all good. Let's I, vote. Hold on, it's I got. Time. I got to take a picture. This is just so funny. What is? Uh, what am I? What am I supposed to do with this? Very good. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, time to vote. Time to vote. Pets. I'm sorry. It hurts my legs. <laughs> the heart racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face off. It's voting time! Ba, 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 ba. Woo! Sorry, everybody. I had, to, I had to kick out all the pets. Oh! I see what you mean about the legs. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot. She just really... Oh, I guess You whatever. did it last time, and you can do it again. I will vote for Kaito one more time. <laughs> one last vote for Kaito. Oh, wow. I can't believe I voted for... It seems the voting has finished. I can't believe. Let's see the result. I voted for him the first time. That you whole... knew you knew something was up. You yeah. could feel you could feel the energy in the room. I could feel it in the air tonight. Yeah. <laughs> let's see the let's see the results here. What did people settle on? <sighs> Yeah. Everybody voted for Kaito. Okay. Right. Again, him popping out kind of solves yeah, that. That's true. I, I want to say thanks, everybody, but also, yeah, I don't know. It's just unfortunate all around. Mm hmm. Who ah. chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Makun's like, well. It's Kaito! Now we know! <laughs> 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 ding, ding, ding! I did not like that it hung on us for a second there. Yay! Yay! Wow. Truly, every single time, it's like, like you said, could it, how, what's the worst we can make it? We made it real bad. And it's real bad. Yeah. I got an A! You did! Whoa, where did I fuck up? Ooh, what? Oh, this was that nonstop debate where we could not Yeah, it it's out. the one where we burnt uh, all of our hearts. Yeah. <laughs> and apparently I... Oh, wait, this is the argument argument? I got an A? Is that right? Sure, yep. Dope! Oh, I missed two in the yep. comic. That sucks. Um, it's all good. That's fine. I can't... I'm just happy to see this. Yes. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right. Yay. All right. Hey, Kaito. What's up? Hey, Kaito. Let me take some, sip some tea before I voice you. Well. Well, if the 
culprit's gonna confess, then I guess even morons can't screw this up. Great. Absolutely right. The blackened who killed Kokichi Oma is Kaito Momota. You all got it right. Great. We all love that we got it right. Ugh. This is so bad because we've continued the killing game and we kill Kaito yep. despite everything to defeat, the, to, to break the killing game. We thought we had the mastermind, but now we know we didn't. Oh, it's just... Cory, baby, please don't. Everything... <sighs> oh. oh, she playing with a cord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. No. Not for kitties. Not that one. Not for kitties. Okay. All right, go for it. Oh. Hmm. So y'all got it right, huh? Even Shuichi and Maki roll voted for me. <laughs> what a relief. Well, I knew you guys wouldn't get it wrong. But you know. But man, it was hard to act like Kokichi the whole time. I mean, sure, he wrote most of his own lines. What? When did he have time to write all that shit? Before he died. Probably while Kaito was running around setting things up. I guess so, yeah. Wow. Man, that little man's a genius. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's very good at what he did. Yeah. Wow. Jeez. Seriously, look at this huge script. He wrote the whole thing. It's even got a bunch of alternate lines for different events, too. I was half right when I said it kind of sounded scripted. Yep. And it kind of sounded like it was sort of pre-planned. Wow. Yep. That's wild. But even so, I had to ad lib. You guys couldn't tell though, huh? Oh, buddy. Come on, man. Hey, come on, guys. Don't look so sad. You guys got it right. It's all good. Why? Why? Hmm? Hmm? Why did you kill Kokichi? You were against the killing game. So why did you kill him? I believed that you absolutely wouldn't do such a thing. Maki, was she protecting Kaito? Or just believing in him, like me? Hmm. That's right. Yeah, I, I should explain. Most of it's just like Shuichi said. <laughs> After Kokichi pretended to take the antidote, he gave it to me. I mean... Then he told me I had to cooperate with his plan. Hey! Plan? What plan? <laughs> I've been thinking this whole time of a plan to throw the Mastermind off guard. What? Throw them off guard? What are you talking about? You're the mastermind! Ah. Oh, um, that was a lie. I, I only pretended to be the mastermind. What? Pretended? You all fell for it. But, you know, I prepared a bunch of stuff. Like this remote control. I had Mio make it. The mysterious messages in the courtyard, using Gonta and making him a murderer. All that preparation was just to make you guys think I was the mastermind. What? What the hell? Why'd you do all that? The reason why I pretended to be the mastermind Shit! was to end this boring killing game. Huh? To end it? Yeah. I thought if I showed the despairing truth, you guys wouldn't want to go outside anymore. I thought it would end the killing game. But instead, this happened. I'm gonna die by Maki's hands. Why do you think this happened? Why do you think Maki tried to kill me? Why do you think the killing game started again? What? Why? Oh, man. Because the true mastermind instigated it. I'm certain of it. They made a move without us noticing. Man, thanks to that, everything is ruined. Hold on! The true mastermind instigated it? So whoever that person is, 
They also instigated Maki's actions too? I'm disappointed. Yeah, they probably tried to eliminate me because I pretended to be the mastermind. What? My actions were instigated by the true mastermind? But that, that can't be. The reason I decided to kill Kokichi was because I remembered the truth from the flashback light. Right, which Kokichi didn't give to us. That was the move that neither of them knew about. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because Kokichi was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, they couldn't plan for it. Yeah. Could yeah. it be... Maybe... Maybe you make... Maybe making you remember the truth was what the mastermind wanted. The true mastermind. Huh? What? Hmm. Maybe the true mastermind had us use the flashback lights so that we would target Kokichi as a remnant of despair. Mm-hmm. Which means... So the flashback light itself was the true mastermind's trap all along? They expected us to target Kokichi once we remembered he was a remnant of despair. Okay. Kokichi certainly expected it. That's why he talked, uh, talked about the true mastermind. But even so... This is all rather convenient for the true mastermind. The person claiming to be the mastermind just so happened to be a remnant of despair? Yeah, that's still kind of weird, huh? Just so happened to be a remnant of despair? Uh, uh, supposedly? Like... <sighs> We're all students of Hope Speak Academy, and our fates are tied to the remnants of despair. I would never have imagined that fate would bring us to Kokichi's murder. It just plays too nicely for the, uh, the true mastermind. Hmm. I didn't know about the flashback light. Guess that's another mystery for you. I mean... Anyway, like I was saying... You know... Then who is the true mastermind? Hmm. Who, who knows? I don't know either. But... But it doesn't matter. We can't lose. This game is pointless unless you win. That's why I thought of a special plan. When I'm on the verge of losing, <laughs> my plan will help me win. Huh? I don't really get it, but is this the plan to throw off the mastermind? Yeah. Well, it's not that difficult. Kaito. Oh wait, well, it's not that difficult. Kaito, I need you. <laughs> oh, I need you to kill me. I didn't know where he's going with that yeah, line. That's fine. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was Kaito, I need you to kill me. Mm -hmm. Okay. What? What? I mean. I fucked it up. I'm so mad that I fucked that up. Okay. <laughs> there was no way for you to know. <laughs> the plan was to make a case where the victim was unknown. And then trick Monokuma into thinking I was the victim so he'd mess up. If he ruled that either Maki Roll or Kokichi were the blackened, then I'd show myself, then I'd show myself, and Monokuma's ruling would be invalid. And if Monokuma's ruling was invalid, the killing game would end. But. That's what I'm most curious about. What makes you think it would end? That's right. Yeah, I asked Kokichi about that myself. Why would Monokuma care if he messed up on who the Blacken was? And this is what he said. Well, you know. Even if Monokuma or even if it's Monokuma or the true mastermind, they can't break the rules as they please. Being unfair like that isn't allowed. Hold up. What do you mean? Yeah. Death games are meant to be watched. If no one was watching, there would be no reason to be such a stickler about the rules. There would be no point in making this a game in the first place. But... But, Monokuma's been a stickler about the rules and about making the game interesting. That's why he agreed to my plan in the virtual world. Which means... Which means Monokuma is aware that someone is watching us. In which case, I have no doubt that this death game is being shown to someone. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. 
hi, it's me. I'm watching it right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ha, 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 ha. Well, I, it's, it's, it really is a question of is there a, is there an in world explanation for who is watching? Or is this a little uh, a breaking of the fourth wall, like, you know, situation where, hey, player, you having fun? <laughs> I mean, like, look, at minimum, we know someone is watching. Allison! <laughs> but also, there might be an in-universe person. There might be an in-universe <laughs> yeah. person. And we don't know. If that's the case, it's a great question. But also, if there was somebody in universe that was watching, then that means humanity's not gone. Right? Unless it's aliens. That's kind of creepy as fuck. Yep. If you think about yeah. it. Yeah. No, it's really creepy. If there's an in-universe reason for why us, the last remnants of humanity, are in a killing game fighting each other, if the reason is that somebody is watching, who is that? And why? Good and question. And who is that? Like. Great question. That's really fucking scary and weird but it also could be a, a a meta thing it could be a fourth wall maybe it's this is just to like fuck with the player i don't know that mm. would be a really unusual thing for Duncan rompa to do i feel like but also they're doing a bunch of unusual shit here in this game mm -hmm. so welcome to the couch penny you gotta hold on you gotta settle though you don't <laughs> Sure. All right. <laughs> would, you like, would you like to be a donut, please? Because you are, you're like, you are very present. <laughs> you're, you're kissing the mic. Oh, uh, we can. We, we'll just keep going okay. and see how how this works out. <laughs> what did you say? So, this is some kind of a show. But, but who'd be watching? We're the only people left alive, aren't we? Yeah. That's right. The flashback light is the reason we even remember that. I mean, that could all be fucking lies, too, you know? Like, that could all just be motivation. I mean, they've been that... literal in-universe motives. Yeah. So, I yeah. Mean, oh, man. Yeah, they could be. But Kokichi might, Kokichi might have been right. Why have a death game if no one's watching? I wasn't sure about it at first, but after the class trial, there's no doubt. Listen up. Monokuma can't do whatever he wants. He's bound by the rules of the game. That's why he couldn't afford to get the culprit wrong. Why he relied on Shuichi. Yeah. It's just... <laughs> she's just she's kissing my arm. <laughs> she loves you. <laughs> it's just like Kokichi said. If this game's rules matter so much, someone's watching. A death game is made to be watched. <laughs> If that's true, then who? It's all fucked up. Like, oh my god. Who is watching this? Hey. What's this all about, Manakuma? Is this killing game really a show for someone? <laughs> <laughs> who could say? He who could said the line. He, say? he fucking said the line. <laughs> I am going to lose it. Like, this is so many levels of, I feel like I'm being attacked directly. <laughs> like, I just, I just, I just, uh. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you tell us? We were friends during the trial. You guys. Honestly, I'm just happy you guys cooperated with me. I can't believe we cooperated with Monokuma. Yeah. Probably should have set off some red flags, huh? Right? Humans love to help. They jump at any opportunity to extend a helping hand. Are you... Uh, uh, I The way you said that, I don't like. I don't know. Well, then. Then here's another question. Who are you, really? If Kokichi, a remnant of despair, is not the mastermind, then who is the true mastermind? Is it another remnant of despair like him? <laughs> I'm not gonna spill the beans on a perfect to be continued cliffhanger like that. Yeah, we got more episodes to record. <laughs> <laughs> why are what? Oh, why you are just so cute? Uh -huh. huh? Really? Hey. I understand Kokichi's plan, but why did you agree to work with him, Kaito? 
Why did you agree to kill Kokichi? Because he saved your life? You should have just ignored him. He's better off dead anyway. It was kind of hard to ignore such an annoying guy. Huh? <gasps> what? <laughs> All right, she's <laughs> and she's gone. <laughs> she, she just fucking came up and faced the wall <laughs> for, for, for a couple of minutes couple and minutes. then left. <laughs> Love my dog. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Ten out of ten. Jeez. Jeez. I wonder how far ahead he planned this evil scheme of his. What? Y yeah, but killing you? Don't screw around. What are you talking about? You want me to kill you? Ah. I figured you'd react like that. But are you sure you're okay with that? <laughs> because if this poison kills me, then Maki would become the blackened. And her crime would be exposed so easily. Well, you know. If that happened, then Maki and I would have died for no reason, right? Which is just what the true mastermind expects. What? What? Damn it. You? That's playing dirty. So that's why you gave me the antidote. <laughs> yeah, for leverage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I am the ultimate supreme leader. There are no debts I won't sink to. <laughs> Even if I have to sacrifice myself. Anyway, this is our chance. Our chance to end this killing game. Ruin this killing That's game. That's why you have to kill me so we can win and ruin this killing game. We'll bring the true mastermind and everyone who's watching. <laughs> we'll bring them down to utter despair. Then everyone who died can rest in peace. <laughs> Ah, uh, crap! Uh, I'm gonna die soon. Uh, can we get this started already? Damn. You're seriously crazy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but you know. At least I. I. Wasn't boring, right? Yeah, he said the line. Mm -hmm. Ah. Ah. You certainly kept it interesting all the way to the end, buddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> Punk. Then he blackmailed you by using me. Nah. No. I agreed to his plan once I heard the words ruin this killing game. Jeez. He was crazy, but that let him come up with some crazy plans. And we needed a crazy plan in order to stand a chance against Monokuma. I bet on that chance. <gasps> I think your cat advanced on the keyboard because I did not press anything. Okay, it's all good, it's all good, it's all right. <laughs> it just scared me for <laughs> It a didn't second. stop the recording or anything, it's okay. <laughs> I just wanted to... <laughs> all right. <laughs> I've got a lot of animals present for this one. They're really antsy, yeah. it's funny. Because I'm out of time. What? Time? Could it be... Kaito, you mean your health. Yeah. I mean, why else would he also also agree to That's it? the other thing is it's like if it's between Maki dying and him dying and he's only got a few days and like, fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he honestly had multiple reasons and motivation to participate. And, yeah. And comply with Kokichi's plan here because he's like, it makes I, a ton of sense. Yeah. It's just like, OK, all he's right. Like I'm terminal. Might as well try. Mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of time. I don't want Maki to die. Where Kokichi is trying to it, trying to ruin the killing game. And if and it works. Then, cool. Yeah. And if it doesn't, well, uh, mm. then it's just me. He's like, I was going to die anyway. Yeah. And Kokichi was going to die because of the poison too. It's, you know, it's. It, it was like, it's a wash. Exactly. It's a yeah. wash. So, which is a sad thing to say. Yes. But yeah. What are you talking about? But you said you were fine. You told me not to worry about it anymore. My bad. Ugh, my bad. That was a lie. Huh? A lie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Honestly, I'm at my limit just talking. <laughs> no, it can't be. But you know. But I gotta wonder how this happened. I don't remember at all. 
In my memories, I was fine during the medical exam for my training. If he was fine during the medical exam, then that means- Oh, then he didn't sneak in. If he was fine, then it got worse when he was like in cryosleep or something? Or something happened? Well, we know Could he- Could it be- <gasps> It's the vi That's what I was saying! Mm. Yeah! This might be the virus. Yeah! Yes! That's what I said like way, way, way back when. I'm like, maybe Kaito just has the virus. And I guess that could be the case. Yeah. Oh, that's fucked up. What? Virus? Oh, you don't know. Yeah. If I remember correctly. One of the plagues that caused our planet to crumble. A virus carried by meteorites that spread across the globe. Hope's Peak Academy, along with the rest of the planet, was in danger of extinction. Even though we had come so far and triumphed over so much despair. We were almost wiped out in an instant. Could it be? This must have something to do with the virus. Kaito didn't use the flashback light, so he might not remember it. But, but weren't we supposed to be immune? We were selected because we didn't. Well, Perhaps the virus was dormant when you were selected by the, for the Gopher Project. Is that even possible? Uh -huh. To tell you the truth, you could have been infected the whole time, showing no symptoms until very recently. I guess that can be a thing: is that you could be like asymptomatic for a time or something. We don't know any of the real details. We know details. nothing about it. We don't know how this virus thing works. So, what did you say? Well, what? <sighs> Kaito was infected with the virus. But how could that be? Jeez. I don't know what you're talking about, but I guess I'm pretty screwed, huh? Well, I knew this was coming. That's why I agreed to Kokichi's plan. But you know. But you know, when I found out about the plan, I thought it was pretty awesome. Hey, so. Kokichi left me with a whole outline of it. I freaked out when I read it. It was a pretty good plan. I thought we might be able to trick Monokuma. Wow, so Kokichi really was- So he probably was keeping Kaito in prison so that he could at one point approach him and say- And do this plan. Hey, do yeah. this with me. I think it just was sped along. Yeah. It yeah. also sounds like he had like a bunch of ideas and this is like the one they ended up going with. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So uh, he, pr he probably just didn't know about Kaito's illness or anything either. Yeah. He's just like- Kaito's an easy one to target because of his attitude about everything. He no, he did know. He did know. Um, did he? But yeah, he called him out on it. He's like, "You've gotten so weak, Kaito." Mm. After Kaito kept trying to fight him, that's true. Yeah, he yeah. he knew he knew something was up. He definitely he knew something was up. Yeah, he definitely yeah. knew that something was wrong with Kaito. Yeah. <laughs> but I knew Shuichi'd see right through it in the end. Huh? What? Well done. <laughs> And that's exactly how it went. Nice job, Shuichi. You're really something. Well then. Kaito, did you- That's right. Yeah. I knew you guys would figure everything out. Got it. That's why I was able to get on board with Kokichi and lie to you like that. Even if I messed up during the trial, I knew Shuichi'd see the truth. That's my sidekick. <laughs> Just what I'd expect from my sidekick. Why? Why? If you knew I'd see through it, then why? Then, yeah. If you knew it was pointless from the start, then you should have gone. You shouldn't have gone that far. I guess because there was always a chance that maybe not. Yeah. And maybe this will still. It's break like if the they game. win, then they win, and if uh, they trick Monokuma, then they trick Monokuma. Yeah. You know, it's like, wow. Nah. Nah. It wasn't pointless. In the end, it ended up being a huge success. What's that mean? I mean, we learned a ton. We learned so much. Well, why? I mean... Because of this plan and Kokichi pretending to be the mastermind? Got it. We got closer to the true mastermind's lair. Yeah, we revealed a whole lot. Behind this truth, there's gotta be a hint that leads to the real truth. Huh? The real truth? Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. That's why Kokichi gave his life. But... You talk as if he was your partner. When you hated him so strongly before. What? Oh, I hate his guts. Honestly, I'm still pissed off at him. 
He made us go through so much crap. To the end? Uh, to the end. No, even beyond that. He was a lying sack of shit. <laughs> but, hey. but, Kaito understood what he was going for. Because mm -hmm. he kind of, I think he saw past that point that we were saying that Shuichi wasn't quite getting to. Where he was like, I see what you're doing. Yeah. It's getting harder to breathe. So, please, can you... Hey, so... Hey, can I ask you one thing? You want to ruin this killing game, but... You kept saying how fun this game was. Hmm. That was a lie. Obviously. How could a game that you're forced to play be fun? I had to think this game was fun to survive. I had to lie to myself. Huh? You little. The bastards who created this game to toy with our lives and the shit's enjoying it. They all piss me off. Shit. That's why I was I'm willing to do whatever it takes to end this game. Kokichi said that. So it was still like a self selfless but also but selfish. selfish thing yep. in the end. It was both. <laughs> Wild. Nah. That could have been a lie too. He probably just said it so I'd cooperate with him. Hmm. Was it really a lie? I think his dying words may have been the honest truth. It's a lie. No, it's definitely a lie. He's not the type to shed real tears. But I wonder which one it is. A lie or the truth? Even now, at the very end, I really don't understand Kokichi. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe that's what lying is all about. The truth is in the eye of the beholder, huh? Kokichi was the very embodiment of a lie. Hmm. To literally the end. Mm-hmm. Wow. <sighs> that pretty much wraps up my explanation. Now, finally. <laughs> I need to apologize to Shuichi. Huh? What? Me? I mean... To be honest, I was jealous of you. Huh? Jealous. That's right. Because you were always saving us, you know? Your detective skills kept us alive. You were just way too cool, and I got frustrated. My bad. So that's why I was so harsh on you. My bad. <sighs> that's wrong. Hey. No, Kaito, that's not true. Hey. I was only co so confident because you were there with me, Kaito. When you made me- when you made me your sidekick, you said that you'd take the responsibility. And that- that's why I can do all this. If you didn't talk to me back then, even now, I'd be- <clears throat> Oh no. <gasps> oh shit, he might die before he gets executed. <laughs> Oh no! Oh my god, shit! Fuck! Oh no! Y'all, this is so bad. Kaito! 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 What? Kaito, are you okay? <laughs> How can I be okay? I'm about to die! Okay! You sure are, bucko, cause it's punishment time! Literally, she's like, are you okay? Get in the thing, get the thing, get the thing! <laughs> He's like, obviously no! <laughs> <laughs> this sucks! <laughs> punishment! Get in the thing, get in the thing! <laughs> I won't let you. Oh, shit. I won't let you kill him. I won't let you kill Kaito! Oh? Oh? You planning to get in my way? You know what'll happen to you if you do that, don't you? He's dying already, ma'am. Come on. Yeah. I don't care what happens. I plan to kill you anyway from the start. 
Indeed. Yes, I have been determined to fight back for a while now. Cut it you out. N no. Stop. Kaito. No, Kaito, I can't. I can't let you die, Kaito. That's it. I don't care if you're sick. I don't care if you're dying. I won't let Monokuma touch you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was good. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. What was that? What's so funny? Hey, hey. Oh, just thinking about life and how irreplaceable it is. You know what I mean? Huh? What? Hmm. When a life ends, those closest to it mourn. But if you could somehow recycle that life... Then those closest to it wouldn't need to mourn anymore, right? What are you talking about? That's Just stuff. nice. If you could recycle a life, the world would be filled with hope. That's my point. Hey, what are you talking? Hey! All right, kids. Now time for your grand re-entrance. What are you talking about? Grand re-entrance? <laughs> Stop! Rise you know, it's your favorite! With our powers combined, we are the Monocasts! I mean, they're little robots. They're How little could robots. they actually be dead? <laughs> yeah, like, there's some truth to that. But also, why are we bringing them back? Oh. oh. I guess recycled life, that's what he was yeah. getting at, is that they weren't actually dead, but why were they here in the first place? All great questions. Huh? Uh, we're not, though. <laughs> we're not on the threshold of an amazing adventure. I'm Monotaro. No matter how you read it or spell it or say it, it's still Monotaro. Hmm. What the? That's a total lie. By the way. What the hell is going on? I could have swore there was more Yes Trumps before. Hell oh yeah. Fuck if I know! Let's destroy Monotom now! That sad sack is pumping me the fuck out! What did you say? What the? Weren't all the Monocubs completely destroyed? Hey, um... <laughs> Those old Monocubs were destroyed! These Monocubs are the latest models! I'm gonna pass out. I... Oh. Whiplash. The whiplash is a lot. There's there's a lot of it. And I feel like this is, uh, we gotta, uh, Refute. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> they, got, they still got their factory settings. So in a way, it's like they're brand new characters. It's exactly what I wanted. Thank you so much. But who cares? Much. Now that my cubs are back, I'm not so lonely and miserable anymore. Good for you. What was that? You brought them back on a whim like that? You guys are just as irreplaceable. Or, or replaceable. Repla you guys are just as replaceable. Maybe not as replaceable as the Monocubs. But finding other people to participate in this killing game is easier than you might think. What are you talking about? <sighs> finding other people? What is going on? Oh, well. I got no idea what's going <laughs> on or what any of you this means, but that's right! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! We're so fucking lovable and shit! Except Monodom, of course. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Hey, hey! Oh! Do you know what else this means? Shing. Now that the Monocubs are back, I've got my Exosol Entourage protecting me again! <laughs> Still wanna defy me now? This is bad. If he's got the exosols again. Shut up. So what? I won't let you kill him. It doesn't matter. I, I won't let you kill Kaito. I'll fight until the end. <sighs> Stop. Even if you fight the exosols, you'll just get killed, damn it. The remote control and the last electro bomb were crushed in the press. No. No, I won't give up! Maki roll! Oh. Enough already! I... I never felt this way before! Oh, the whiplash! Uh, I've always fought to kill, but this is the first time I've fought to protect someone. Huh? Huh? 
and I've never <laughs> been given a nickname like Maki Roll before either. What? You. I. And I've never met someone as stubborn as you before. <laughs> and I've never <laughs> fallen for someone before. Oh! I'm glad she admitted it though. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> M Maki roll. Maki. No. I don't want this to end. I just... I don't... I won't let you kill him. That's why I won't let you... Uh, won't let you kill Kaito. I absolutely won't let you. My bad. Maki roll. I'm sorry. But that's not an option. I don't have as much time left as you think. I'm... Fighting just to stay standing. I... But I... Hey, so... Hey, Maki Roll. I asked you before. What's your enemy? Before, you hated yourself so much. You didn't even like yourself a little. And wasn't that the reason you tried to distance yourself from every... from others? That's right. You decided that... You didn't deserve to have friends, didn't you? That was your enemy. Don't worry about it. But not anymore, huh? You're all right now. <laughs> you fell for a guy like me. Now you can learn to like yourself. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, hey. Don't cry. Can't you send me off with one last smile? I believe in you. You guys too. I'm not gonna allow any tears. Send me off with a bang. Uh, okay. All right, Kaito. I won't cry. I'll endure it. Me too. I'm gonna hold it in. <laughs> yeah. I'll endure it. I... I can't cry. Even if I wanted to. <sighs> Hey, sorry about the wait, Monokuma. You can go ahead and start now. Okay! Can do! Dun dun dun! Oh boy, my first punishment time! I've never seen one before! Hey! But let me just say this to the true mastermind controlling Monokuma. Get ready! You better get ready. My friends aren't gonna lose to you! Hmm. Yeah. That's all. Please. I'll leave the rest to you guys. End this ridiculous killing game. Please do not worry. We'll end it. For so please don't worry. Shuichi. And Shuichi, never forget. You're not alone. You have friends. Don't try to do everything by yourself, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, Kaito. Okay. The impossible is possible! Don't forget! The impossible is possible! All you gotta do is make it so! Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Kaito. Maki Roll! Maki Roll. How long are you gonna cry? You should smut. Sorry. I can't. That's impossible, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> of course. My bad for making you cry like that. <laughs> All right. All right then. Let's end this with a bang. I'm Kaito Momota, a special of the stars. Oh, a special pun of bleh, a special punishment suited for the luminary of the stars. Okay, okay. You don't got to tell me. I'm excited to get started. Get ready. Oh yeah. Well, screw you. I'm not gonna die the way you want. It's punishment time! Oh, that mean. He's just gonna die on the way up. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, Joe's been found. This is. Oh, God, jeez. Man. Ah! Are we gonna send you to space? We've seen that before. We've done that it would be before. a callback. Yeah, it's true. Ha ha ha.
Yep, this looks familiar. This looks really familiar. Blast off second ignition. Ooh. Let's we'll have a callback. Yeah, we're, we're all about callbacks in this one. Yep. I guess, <laughs> I guess not going to space. Yeah, we're like we're not gonna be... give you your dream, buddy. Oh, we're gonna go to the center of the, of the earth? Is that what we're gonna do instead? Oh, yikes. It's the opposite of going to space. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Uh-huh. They still went to space. Did we still go to space? We just went, we bore through the whole planet? Yeah, casual. Oh, okay. Wow. He really just might die before the execution is <gasps> completed. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Wow. What's happening? <gasps> what was that? <laughs> what was that? Like a little antenna popped yeah. off of a... Uh, Kiba's little antenna. Kiba's there. Yeah, Kiba there. Ah! Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. Wow. 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 What? Wow. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh. I mean, he was right. He had, like, no time left. Yeah. Oh. And he died looking at the stars. He did still go to space. At least this... This time he got to see this it. This time he got to see it, and he... I, he did it. He did it. That's so <laughs> fucking tragic. Yeah. Oh my god. But not as tragic as it could have been. That's true. You know, it's, yeah. it's one of those weird ones where it's like, I guess that's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, because he was now, dying anyway. He was dying anyway. And weirdly, in this very tragic flip, it's become a little s weird, twisted sliver of hope. Yeah. You know? Like it's it's like it's not good. It's not happy, but it it it, it is kind of good. Yeah. In a, I know the, that sounds really weird, but like because it was still a, it was a fuck you. Yeah, it was an like, ultimate fuck you, and yeah. it was exactly what he would have wanted. Like both Kaito and Kokichi were like truly to the end. Fuck you, Monokuma. Yeah, because like, it like it's like Monokuma's been trying to wrestle control back for this whole post trial, and it's like kind of not working. Yeah. At you know all. what I mean? Like, it, it's just not quite working. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, we're, like, we've gone real deep into this episode. Uh, do I cut it off here? Or do we want to see the end of... Know. The end uh, of the chapter is really soon. Uh, we can continue to the end of the chapter. Okay. It'll just be a... It's just a it's long just a one. It's a long one. So, yep. thanks for sticking around with us, everybody, mm -hmm. for this long one. Kaito. Fucking rough, though. It's still rough for these guys. Like, it's still rough shit for these kids. Oh my like, god, yeah. So bad. Your deal? What's your deal? <laughs> What's your deal? Now that that just happened. Yeah, he lost his protagonist spike. He lost his protagonist spike, which is something. Also, you've got some more, like, stuff going on yeah. on your body right now. Right? Kibo, are you okay? You got hit by that debris when you protect- Well. I'm fine. More importantly. <laughs> hey! What's the matter, Monokuma? Upset that Kaito won? Eh? Eh? What do you mean, Kaito won? Because... He died before the end of your punishment. Kaito didn't die from your execution. We still kind of broke the game. We still kind of broke the game. We still kind of broke the game. Okay. That's right. Kaito wasn't killed by you. Yeah. It's Kaito's victory. We lost. We lost. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if he meant to do it, but he certainly went out like a stubborn jackass. Well, whatever. It's not like this is the end of the killing game, so it's fine. What was that? It's not over? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! No shit! Hey. Ain't it written in the school regulations? That's right. 
the killing game will go on until there is just one blackened or two spotless. Hmm. School regulations. So you're gonna follow the regulations, huh? The only reason you want rules is because you're showing this to someone. Well, I just want an entertaining killing game, but you're certainly entitled to your opinion. That's wrong. That's enough. Enough of your bullshit, Monokuma. I made a promise to Kaito. I will end this killing game. That's it. And to give Kaito's death meaning, I swear I will keep my promise. You're right. Yeah, we're not going to let anyone else die. Oh, I have to do it. Who's even going to play that killing, that game anymore? It's already over. What is mm. your deal? Hmm. Hmm. You could cut this tension with a knife. What's everyone talking about anyway? Well, actually... Feels like we stumbled on the last act! <laughs> I don't know what's happening at all. Pops! Yo, Pops! Fill us in! We want to help you out! <gasps> oh! Monosuke is acting nice! He's sucking up for brownie points! They're so Oh, I just can't help myself around, you cute little cobs! <laughs> Gather around, kids! I'll spend all month telling you all about what you missed! A whole month? Won't that take longer than the whole chapter? My I'll tell you all about it while I smother you in hugs and kisses! You kids go on ahead and wait for me at home! So long, farewell! Okay, bye. Sure. Uh, what? What? Do you, what? Huh? Even the fuck? Why did I stay behind? Cause I want to give you all a reward for your for working so hard. Why mm -hmm. you? We don't want it. Just go away. You're really bugging. By the way, I don't know where you got the idea that this killing game can be stopped. There's nothing a participant can do to end this killing game. But you said it could end if there's one black end or two. Uh... Yeah, but like, like ruin the killing game. Stop the killing game. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. No way. Nuh -uh! This game is going to keep going and going for a long time. Hmm. During his ranting, Monokuma took out. Huh? Huh? A flashback light? <laughs> Think fast, suckers! Bing, bing! <laughs> like, is that what's about to happen? Oh! <gasps> Literally! <gasps> oh my god. <sighs> what is happening? What? what? What did you just do? What? Was that a flashback light just now? Could it be? Is it broken? I don't feel like I remembered anything. <laughs> this flashback light has a special effect. You'll remember soon enough. You'll remember that despair is the only choice you have. <laughs> and that hope doesn't exist here at all. <laughs> this killing game will never end. Are we in purgatory? <laughs> and then Anakuma left. He declared that this killing game would continue. He declared there is no hope. Oh my god. After all that, I honestly don't remember how we got back. What? Duh! You went back to your room? Did we just leave? Should I keep going? I don't... It took all that I had to just accept the reality that Kaito was gone. I feel like we're so on the precipice of something right now. And not just Kaito. Kokichi, too. Someone we all trusted and someone none of us trusted. We lost them both. But it wasn't all for nothing. Because we're drawing even closer to discovering the true mastermind. Whoa, 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 whoa! What? Uh, <laughs> what is this? 
What is this? Hello, what's going on? Mm -hmm. uh, who is speaking right now? Is Kellen Game Warren Lever in? We don't want to <laughs> give it a voice. Ah. I mean, you could give Not it a until they do. Yeah. Never ever. As long as I'm around, it'll never end. It'll repeat over and over and over. Why would I let something this fun ever end? I want to have more fun. What is this? As long as it's fun, we have to keep doing it. That's just simply supply and demand. <laughs> That's so spicy! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, ma'am. How though? Interesting. How are you alive? You are very dead. Great questions. You are Great super questions. dead. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're not Junko. Unless you're like, I don't know, fucking Monica or something. I don't know. I. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going. Such despair. Later that night... Oh my god! I found myself standing at that one spot in the courtyard. Oh, it's our workout spot. The place where Kaito and I would train together. My heart felt crushed. All the loss and guilt and helplessness sinking in my chest. But still, I... I stood there. Well... What are you doing? Hey, Maki. Oh. Ah, Maki. Hey. So you came too. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Maki. I'm sorry. What? For what? Uh, um... I was the one who drove Kaito into a corner. Just like Kaede, I... I ended up betraying everyone important to me. It's all my fault. Well... Are you feeling lonely? Huh? Huh? Hey. Are you lonely now that Kaito is gone? Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, lonely. <laughs> I feel so lonely and so sad. I I don't know what to do. The only reason I'm still alive right now is because of Kaito. If he hadn't been tr my friend, I would be... That's right. Me too. I can't remember the last time I ever cried that hard. I wonder how long it's been. Okay. But I won't cry anymore. I'm sad. But I'm grateful to Kaito. Huh? Grateful? Okay. Yeah. I want to tell him that rather than being sad or lonely, I'm grateful to him. <laughs> That's why I won't cry anymore. I'm not going to wallow in pity. I want to show him how much I appreciate all the things he did. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's the same for me. I want to show my appreciation, too. I'm sure that our friends who've passed on don't want to see us miserable. Thanks. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, so you guys were here after all. Yeah. Just like I thought. Jeez. Oh, I knew you guys would be here because I cast a spell to find you. Ah, uh, Tsumugi? Himiko? Um, um, if you don't mind, can we join you in your training? Huh? Oh. <laughs> I'll train you all from the ground up so we can end this killing game together. Huh? We're going to end this together? Yeah. Himiko and I promised Kaito. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do what we promised and work together to end this killing game. We can't afford to lose to despair! 
Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Monokuma said that there's no hope anywhere. But he's wrong. There is hope. My friends are my hope. <laughs> Kaito said it best. I'm not alone. That's right, I have friends. Not just my friends here, but also friends who have died. They all gave us their hope, too. That's why I'm going to live. I want to live for everyone who died. Despair cannot defeat me. I will hold on and survive no matter what. Thank you, Kaito. Let your sweat wash away all your sadness, fear, worry, and hardships. Just start moving your body and your pain will become memories before you know it. Then you should train too. Well, I don't have anything to worry about. Because, <laughs> I mean, I'm Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. Hey, no fair, Kaito. <laughs> went? Huh? Kibo? I, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah. What is that guy off doing? <laughs> I don't think a robot really needs to do any training. I can't... The, the feeling of... <laughs> uh, my heart rate just skyrocketed. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. <laughs> but, but the rest of us are here. I kind of wish she'd come too. <laughs> it's quiet. I think we're going to have to stop here, Gina, unless you want me to go a little further. I just feel like the end of the chapter is like three lines away, it's but like I could be wrong so about that. Close. It feels so close. Okay, okay, I gotta, I gotta. <sighs> okay. Too quiet. And yet, this silence is quite refreshing. I used to hear my inner voice with perfect clarity. It would fill me with the power of hope, guide me along the right path. I can't hear it anymore. <laughs> uh oh. All I hear now is silence. That silence means my will is now my own. Oh. Even if despair is all we have to choose, even if hope no longer exists, I will never give in to despair. I. I will end this. Kibo. No Dangerous what, phrase. I will force this to end. Everyone is like, I will end yeah, this. Yeah, it's a very and, dangerous phrase uh, in this game. And then they die. Yeah. Uh, uh. This school, this ultimate academy for gifted juveniles, is steeped in despair. So you are clearly receiving instructions from someone. And now the antenna is off. And now the antenna is off. Interesting. Whoa, 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 hold on a second! <gasps> what the fuck? So, not such a weak robot after all. Oh and my- I will destroy it. Oh my god! Oh my god, he's a killer robot! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <gasps> but maybe good? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Holy shit! <gasps> what? <laughs> Yo, what's happening? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to go to bed. <laughs> Why? <a> small cast. <laughs> small cast, and one of them has a big old gun! One of them does have a big old gun! Like a big old gun!
Oh, <laughs> Corey's <laughs> holding my hand. Signing oh. off. Chapter a clear chapter five. It was oh, and we got his jacket. Oh, I would love to save. Thank you. Oh, well, uh, thank you all for sticking around for an extra long episode. Wow, um, that was Allison. Where are you going? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I can't pause. I can't. Pause. What are you I doing? There. Yeah. <gasps> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look like it might be Rantaro back. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh. Uh. I, it's so, it's, we've gone so beyond our normal episode length. I want to talk about shit, but I think we're going to have to talk about it next time. I think. I think. I yeah, am probably. just. Oh, oh my God. That was so much. It was a lot. That was so I think it was really well done too. Very well yeah, done. It was really, really well done. Like, very much so. Chapter five fucking rules. God <laughs> damn it. Okay. Well, next time you'll hear my debrief about all of that. Yeah. And then we'll we'll make our way into the the final act of this game. That uh, sounds like a plan to me. I'm assuming, but yeah. Oh, thank you all so much. We'll see you next time. See you then. <laughs>